everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Tears of the Kingdom. Do I dare show you guys the time? I do! Uh, it's, it's 301. Uh, I just wanted to make reference to the last episode. It's 301 on th not even the day that this episode comes out. For once in a long time, I'm actually recording ahead of the game. I'm recording this the same day that I recorded uh, yesterday's episode. Which is to say, I guess, yesterday for you guys. Scorpus, dude, what up? Oh. Link, I'm so happy to see you've safely oh. returned. Can I fill you in on anything here at Lookout Landing? I need a equipment. Oh. Lookout Landing was built on top of the royal family's emergency shelter. We don't have much equipment in there, but we do have essentials like bats and a cooking pot. Feel free to use those. If you need armor or cooking ingredients for your travels, you'll find all of that at Mub's shop up there. I don't. What's the latest? What is the latest? What? Oh. Uh, now that you mention it, I was speaking to Lester from the mini stable nearby. He looked haggard and he was muttering that his horse had run away. That's worrisome considering the number of monsters around Lookout Landing. I hope he finds it soon. Ah. Uh, your mobs is getting new items in stock. You must want to stop by. You might even want to. Holy shit. Um. You mean like. Best shop in Iron? Are you sure, Carson? Ah. I link morning. Ah. You shopping? This shop has the best goods in all of Hyrule. I'm serious. Oh. Even I feel a sense of pride about it. I don't even work here. Okay, bud. Whatever you say. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking I don't actually want any of this. Also, Hestu is definitely not here anymore, huh? Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I'll just go fast travel to where I'm at with some point in the fucking one place. What rotten luck. Oh, Spot. Where did you go off to? Spot? Well, look who it is. I sure can't thank you enough for helping me out our mini stable come together. Love me talking to myself, did you? Spot is the name of my beloved horse, you see. Truth be told, he's missing. Ran away just before the stable was built. Well, he's always been a meek horse, so I can't imagine he's run off too far. He's beautiful. Just one look at his silky, gentle beige coat, and you know it was him. Of course, you'd recognize his unique gray dappling, too. That's the reason I call him Spot in the first place. A horse like him, I bet he, you, he, I bet you he's someplace with a nice view, taking in the sights. Just wish I didn't have so much trouble climbing to high places these days. Spotting Spot! As an ultimate reminder, we're digging around, lookout landing. I'm trying to see if there's anything here that's, uh, you know, particularly interesting. Um... As you guys have told me in the past, things fill out here after every phenomena, so that's kind of interesting. Um, what am I looking at? Hello? Oh! Probably the thing that's over here. It's just not rendering in all of the way. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, so we're doing uh, lookout landing stuff, but ultimately still on the quest to, you know, upgrade our armor. All we need is... We have the rupees at this point. All we need is one more fang from the light dragon. What up, Josha? Ah. Hi, swordsman. Welcome back. You look like you're in a good mood. Did you discover something? Hmm? Oh. Wow, you defeated Koga? Well, of course you did. You're the swordsman. So, did you have any clues about Princess Zelda? Uh -huh. Oh, no. Nothing, huh? Well, even so, that's one less danger for the princess. I'm not even surprised you did all this. You're the oh. swordsman. I'll be hard at work with uh, here with my research into the depths. So just come let me know if you find anything out, Mr. Swordsman. Yeah, I will. I've literally never been out these doors before. I mean, technically I have, but I've always just jumped. Huh. Okay, hello, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there's actually something that I'm still yet to do at Lookout Landing. Um, Potentially possibly like in the shelter I guess I guess hello not bad honestly I agree brother hey oh hey is that you link I've been nose down so I don't know what's happening around me at the time this is pretty involved so I'm going to keep sitting here while I wrench on this uh, you might have heard but when the upheaval happened all of the weapons decayed I've poured so much energy into trying to fix them, but it's no use. It's decayed! Yeah, just before the upheaval, gloom began pouring out of the ground. It clung to the weapons, pulsing as if alive. We watched as the weapons rotted to pieces right before our eyes. 
It was all pretty wild, and I don't understand how it happened. At a time when Hyrule Castle can float, I've given up trying to make sense of most things. Oh, yeah. In case nobody has mentioned yet, you're welcome to use the weapons over there. Though they probably won't be much use to you since they're, you guessed it, decayed. Uh, yeah, no. No, thank you. The hell's this? Huh? 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 Oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to get me, uh, get all my attention. Are you interested in the different peoples of Hyrule and where they live? That's my entire field of study. When I'm out on development with the monster control crew, I spend hours poring over our maps. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable in Lookout Landing about Hyrule's various peoples and their towns and villages. Ah, uh, what about the people? Oh. Aside from us Hyleans, there are four other peoples here in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and the Gerudo. Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits, whether it's soaring the sky or feasting on rocks. We Hylians also live in villages that reflect our own unique cultures. The Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. The leader of Lookout Landing, Pura, is from the Sheikah tribe. Ah, uh, the villages? Oh. Hyrule has eight major places that its various peoples call home. Go on. Lookout Landing is located here in Central Hyrule. Also, how do you like this highlighter? It glows, it's kind of fucking weird. Up northwest of here, there's Rito Village in Hebra. Then there's Gerudo Town that's located in the southwest in the Gerudo region, go fucking figure. You'll find Goron City the northeast in Eldon. Travel a bit farther east and you'll come across Terrytown in Akala. Not too far from there is Zora's Domain, that's within the Laneru region. Continuing into Southeast Hyrule, you'll come across a cluster of Hylian villages. These are within an area called the Cluda. Within that cluster, you'll find Kakariko Village where the Sheikah live. I hear the village leader is quite lovely. If you're seeking a tranquil spot, Hateno Village is worth a visit. I also hear it's become Hyrule's center of fashion. Finally, there's Lurlin Village. It's a wonderful getaway destination. Many of the aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. If removing even a fraction of the monsters helps soothe the peoples of Hyrule, then that's what we'll do. Our monster control crew is on patrol each day, gathering information from everyone. Everywhere? Uh, what about you? I work with the monster control crew. We're tasked with protecting everyone from monsters. There's been an uptick in their population since the upheaval, but I'm not really the most skilled in combat. So instead, I use my knowledge of the areas to help determine where we should make deployments. Uh, goodbye. There's been an increase in the number of unfamiliar monsters since the upheaval as well. Be careful out there. Yes. What the hell's this? Eh? What? Is that really you? Link, you've returned! It's such a relief to see that you're safe. Oh, let me introduce myself. I'm Gralins, head of the Monster Control oh. Crew. We were tasked by Pura to help with the search for Princess Zelda, but Pura's since reassigned us to our original duty. It's our job to keep the monsters at bay as best we can throughout Hyrule. Oh. Uh, the what? Yes, we've assembled a crew to contend with the monster problem. Pura herself has coordinated our efforts. Ever since the upheaval, there's been an interest increase in monsters throughout Hyrule. Volunteers have been reorganized into three squads to face monsters head on and protect civilians. In case you're wondering who I am, I'm the head of those squads. It's my job to strategize and deploy them. For a while, we were aiding in the search for Princess Zelda, but we've since resumed our original mission to keep the monsters of Hyrule at bay as best we can. Our three monster control crew squads provide us regular updates while on expedition. They've also been updating us on the recent large monster sightings. Please utilize any and all intel we have to better equip you in the search for Princess Zelda. And considering you're the legendary swordsman, maybe you can lend a hand in the hunt for the large monsters? I would really appreciate it. Uh, sure. I... Oh. Yes. The... Oh, we've got more to talk about, huh? Squads and expeditions? Oh. Hose's squad, Torin's squad, and Flaxel's squad of the monster control crew are taking down monsters all across Hyrule. Hose? Oh. Hose's squad is hunting monsters in Hyrule Field to the south of Lookout Landing. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. Uh, Want to know more about the whereabouts of other squads, Torin? Uh. Torin's squad is on the north side of Death Mountain in Elden. They're heading for a cave discovered at 
Lake Darman, which used to be a lava lake, but has since stopped flowing. They're taking out the monsters nesting in the cave, so if you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. Wanna know about Flaxel? <laughs> Flaxel Squad is ending monsters and fair onto the south. They're aiming to subdue the pirate ship on the Minot River to the south of Lake Hylia, which is west of Highland Stable. If you see them, do me a favor and help. Oh. I did that. Curious about anything else? Oh. Big monsters? I've heard tell about a number of large monsters. Go on. Mm. Our comrades out on a survey and a call reported an attack by Italis. Italis looks like a giant, mobile pile of angry rocks. Hard to miss. With our current weapons, we wouldn't be able to put a scratch on that thing. Huh? Oh! Would you like to ask about the other oh. large monsters? I've heard tell about a number of large monsters. Oh. Why not the Hina's? Recently, there were some travelers passing by Trilby Plain near Woodland Stable in Northeast Hyrule Field. Their intel confirmed a sighting of a Hinox in the area. Hinox are huge, one-eyed beasts. They are incredibly strong. So strong, in fact, that they wield trees as weapons. We'd go after it, but with that kind of strength, we'd be in over our heads. It's a real situation. Yeah, okay. Would you like to ask about the other large oh. monsters? Uh, sure. Mm. I've, I've, I have a report saying that a Mulduga is discovered in the East Barrens in the Gerudo Desert. The report came from the ground research team and they've asked us to exterminate it. A Mulduga is a terrifying beast that swims through the sand like a fish. We go after it, but we don't have the means to tackle a monster that burrows in the sand like that. Okay. Would you like to ask about the, uh, the, no. What about the Nevermind, sir? Holy oh. ass! What the hell's the Nevermind? All the tools we might have used in the battle are decayed and useless now. Despite that, we're all doing what we can. If you ever run into anyone from the Monster Control crew and during your travels, I'd appreciate you lending a hand. Yeah, maybe. Bye. Is this guy still sleeping? Uh. I'm doing sweet little Josh is recruiting for the Chasm Research Team, so I interviewed, but I didn't make the cut. Well, nappier here anyway. Better than dealing with that nasty gloom again. I had a really rough go of it when I came into contact with it. Glad I ate that yellow plant stuff from the gloom specialist. Any more gloom and I'd be connecting that old death river. Anyway, it's nobody's business but mine that she didn't pick me. I'm going back to sleep. Wait, were you really not? <laughs> Terrible name. Did he? Okay. What is this? Can I go down there? Actually, I probably have been down there, huh? Okay. What up? Oh, hey, it's you again. So you know, I've taken the time to say all my goodbyes. The thing is, it's re always really dusty around here, so I work overtime to clean it all up. Well, that was working so hard, in fact, that the force of my broom accidentally took out part of this wall. Ever since, I've been hearing this creepy voice coming from the hole I made. It almost sounds like a demon growling. No one else claims to hear it, but I certainly do. <sighs> At this point, I'm pretty sure I unsettled that demon when I busted up the wall. So it stands to reason that it wants revenge. I'll be the one who's targeted. Robbie, Grant, goodbye forever. The ah, fuck? Dude, this sounds interesting as fuck. I'm gonna... I kind of want to pivot to that. We're already halfway through this. What the fuck? Hello? This is super interesting. Dude, I really want to do this, but... Hold on. Where is... Am I still tracking the... There's a 0% chance. No fucking way it only moved that far. Are you joking? Are you joshing me? Are you Drake and joshing me? I definitely need to go here anyway. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to go to this. I'm just going to grab the fang of this and then I'm just going to forget about it because I feel like I don't want to stray from this quite yet. And can I see the thing? Oh, actually, that's really close. Well, ask me, daddy. <laughs> Who says that? Somebody's gotta say that, right? Oh, ask me, daddy. You know, pro probably somebody says that. Dude, I definitely need to go check out like all of this islandage, but I feel like if I don't go for the light dragon right now, I'm not gonna be able to get to it. You know what I mean? So I feel it almost necessary to prioritize this bastard, but I will be coming back, especially considering there's definitely something going on here, you know? Whether it be Sage's will or I don't know. But I kinda wanna explore it right now. God damn it. 
gosh damn it oh actually have i been to that star island yet i kind of doubt i have right considering like i've not been to like most any of this stuff that's up here right now you know okay i fall yes at this point i'm thinking i'm just gonna i'm gonna touch the butt of them you know i just want my stamina back and please blow to Lynn. Please! Please! Thanks, brother. I appreciate you. Yeah, if I, uh, if I just land on the butt of this thing, because I need to get that thing, damn it. It's got to land on the ass of them. And then we walk forward just ever so slightly. It would be faster if Tulin could blow me, though. Don't blow me on that. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And. <laughs> I might as well grab some of these, like, crystal boys while I'm here, yeah. If there are any? How frequently do these things respawn? Because I feel like most of the resources, like, they kind of respawn, like, with blood boots, right? Does that count for dragons as well? I have no idea. I've never questioned this. Mainly because this is absolutely a new thing to Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, might I remind you, I think it was literally impossible to stand on any of the dragons in Breath of the Wild, you know? Possibly, probably, gotta be VeggieTales. I would hate it if I accidentally pressed the A button on the Master Sword right now. Ooh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna accidentally press the A button. No, the fuck he's not. Hello. Can I just like, hold on. Wait, are you not good to go yet? No way. Are you really not good to go yet? I mean, you haven't, oh, dicks. I'm not doing this again. Like at this point, I can make a cut, you know? Okay, I guess I'll just wait again. Okay, this thing is definitely glowing at this point. Um, this is kind of weird because it's definitely been at least 17 minutes that I've been rec oh -ho -ho! <laughs> recording this episode. I don't understand. You know, I have 17 minutes on my stopwatch. Is it just cause it wasn't around? It's like, hey, maybe, I guess. Also, where am I falling? Where is this? Where is this? Is this Elden again? Zelden kind of freaks me the fuck out, not gonna lie. Yeah, we're bordering Elden, kinda, not really. Yikes! Yeah, I'm never gonna help you again, brother, sorry. <laughs> it was fun for like the first 20 episodes, but I'm kind of over it. I don't really need your sleepover tickets anymore. You kind of freak me the fuck out. Anyway, uh, yeah, last episode we did end up enhancing this and the pants, uh, but we did not end up enhancing this, but I think now we absolutely can. I also didn't notice last episode if it's possible that the other ingredients that we need for this thing we don't have. I don't know. I should have looked, but I didn't. Probably because I'm a fucking idiot. Anyway, I'm going to find out in a hot second anyway and possibly be disappointed. Mm, hello? I don't know why this is the one I always frequent. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is just the easiest one to find on the map because it's like kind of, uh, kind of centered. Anyway, do mm -hmm. I have the stuff? I have the stuff. I have the stuff. How do I have that many silent princess? Christ. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just fuck me up with this, uh. please. Close your eyes, she says. I'll close them. <laughs> They're closed. Wait, please, I have a girlfriend. Just in another castle. What did that even mean? Toad always said that to me, so I felt like that meant something, you know? Fuck. Yeah. I feel like I cheated. Mm -hmm. mm. Anyway, uh, bye. Uh. Um, dueling pe yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, oh. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> See you later. Yikes, that lady wouldn't shut the hell up. Okay, so we are now fully upgraded in our armor um, up to tier three across the board, which is great. Um, and as I've said in the past, this is exactly how I like to pace it. Um, we have three phenomena done. Our armor is all tier three. We're good to go. Uh, that being said, uh, we actually have some stuff that I absolutely want to do now. This sounds bonkers, okay? I want to see what the fuck is going on with this. I'm super intrigued. Also, apparently this is a side adventure? That kind of weird, doesn't that mean, doesn't that imply that there's probably more to this than just meets the eye? I guess we'll see. Ah, yes, home sweet home. Hello, lookout landing. I mean, it's kind of homey. Kinda. 
Yo, these boys are still just flipping their spears off. Can I dive into this? <laughs> that looks so dumb. All right, I'm ready. Hey, bud, what up? What do you think about this? So there's a path after all. Uh, I figured if this is the royal family's emergency shelter, there would be a path that leads to here. So if you follow it, then... Oh! Oh, yeah, dude, you would go to the castle! Uh... Discovery! Royal Hidden Passage! <laughs> okay, I have to go! What the fuck is in here, guys? Ma'am, I hear it too. Ma'am, you're not alone. I hear it too, okay? I just want to let you know. What the fuck? Hello? Pretty sure these... Yeah, I hear you! Fuck off! You're freaking me the fuck out! Ah! Oh wow. Um What up bomb be better? Dude, this is fucking weird. Okay, I got to like follow the correct path. You Wait, is this the respect statue? Hi. Hello. Fucking weirdo. Ah, uh, so there are some who still pay me homage. Oh, uh, you can talk! Don't say. You can hear my voice? Hell yeah, brother. Now that is a surprise. What were you praying for? Long life? Wealth like so many of your kind? Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power. That was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She turned me into the stone statue long, long ago. Even then, I continued my bargains as a statue in a village. Still, the goddess did not like what I was doing. I was banished from the main street to the outskirts of town, scorned and neglected. But that was not enough for her. Again, I was sent away. I spent time trapped in a pond, with only fish for company. And finally, here. Perhaps another might have learned a lesson from this, but I have not. No, I have only been biding my time for the moment when someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. I'm sure we can reach a beneficial arrangement. I have dealt only with fish for too long, and fish make terrible deals. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Hold still and don't fret. I'll take care of everything. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> My touch is as subtle as ever. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. Hey, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? You. Uh, can I have that back? <laughs> Do you think I'd deceive you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So, which will it be? Yeah, the heart back. Wise choice. Now, remain still. Ah, I feel it in my loins. Did you take stamina from me? It's like, thanks. Okay. You look skeptical. Not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. If you're ready to begin, then first you must sell me either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price re rises to 120 rupees. Before you cry foul, know that you may choose which one I return to you, heart container or a stamina vessel. I'm eager to help tamper with your essence anytime you want to return and pray here. I deal with the statue. Yay! What? Okay, I'm gonna go talk to the lady and let her know that it's just a talking demon statue. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Yikes! Hey, I figured it out! Uh, I broke the wall and angered the demon, and I'll be paying for it with my life. Robbie Grant, goodbye forever. <laughs> I didn't know I could pull this up. What the fuck? Is this a log? Oh, it's literally wide button. It's been there the entire game. You what? 
You went inside the hole? Did you find the demon? Is, is this goodbye for me? Wait, a demon Satsu was in there, you say? Uh, I know a bit about those. Want to know what I know? Ah, uh, sir. A dealer in life and power touched by the wrath of the goddess fallen to ruin. Then that must mean the horn statue is an entity who deals in life and power. Which would make the day da dies? Da which would make the dies the dice. The, the place where it was enshrined back when it was still a god. Mm. So the voice I heard was the forlorn horn statue. As there is the goddess of light, then it follows that she sh would have an opposite, the horn god. Like light and dark, one cannot exist without the other. Their power manifests through the other's existence. Uh. Knocking a hole in the wall? That was fate, no doubt about it. I can't go in there, but I'll keep this area spick and span. And I'll be sure to greet the horn statue from here too. Oh, and thanks, you know? Take this. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's Robbie's spending allowance for next month, but now it's your spending allowance. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up for me. Right, time to settle the old nerves and get back to work. Well, Robbie can't eat now? And also 20 rupees? And also you're his sugar mom? What am I, what did I just learn? What is the other end of this? I would assume that this leads to Hyrule Castle, right? I mean, that's what that one guy was implying and that makes sense to me. Also, oh my God, I never thought I'd see the day where this rock hammer fucking destroys itself. <laughs> no! Fuck. Do I really want to fucking, ah, I'll just use this. Is this the... Yeah, this is good. This is a good hammer replacement, honestly. This is fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Away we hammer. Oh, rock salt. Yummy, yummy. Uh, oh, good. More rocks. I <laughs> love that. Okay. Let's just uh, speed this up, huh? Yeah, let's keep on moving forward. Oh, yes. Yes, I love this. Does it go down left? Where am I going? Yeah. Uh, hello? Oh, good! More rocks! Yes! So fucking excited! Is this really gonna take me all the way to Hyrule Castle? Yikes! Uh. Yikes, I didn't mean to disturb. Hello? Where am I? Uh, hey. What up, bud? How you doing? You wanna hook off? You wanna show me that tuggy? Whoa! Tool in your nuts! What the fuck was that? Quick draw, McGraw! What the fuck? Hey, hook off! Jesus Christ! Tulin would not let that guy even breathe! I don't want this. Don't want it. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Except, honestly, not really. I'm gonna be completely Franklin with you. Franklin the turtle with you right now. I don't really care about that shield one slice of my fucking being. Hey, look, more rocks. Goody! Ah, we continue. Yay! I assume that the other end of this is accessible right now as well. So glad I nearly hit that bomb. Love that. <laughs> Why did I even bother charging that up? Uh, yeah, you, I guess. That's got durability up. I guess, is there a rock around here? By all fun. Oh, this is one-handed. Oh, dicks. Uh, I don't know that I actually want to do that anymore. It's too, that's two-handed? What the fuck is this? Oh, it's the wind cleaver. Ah, uh, and then a bunch of spears. Honestly, fuck it. Like, at this point... Jesus Christ! You guys actually, a while back, gave me a mining tip about adding, like, a cannon or something to some other part. And, like, I was like, that's super interesting. And then I noted that down, and then I've since forgotten the very specifics about it, you know? So... Ah, look at you, you crazy! Would this hurt you? Yeah, I would. Go fuck yourself. Where am I? Like, what the f This is definitely gonna go all the way to Hyrule Castle. That being said, I've not fucking come close! Huh? 
This is gonna take a while, my god. But what is this? Oh, actually, you know, Bo, I completely forgot about your existence. <laughs> no offense! Well, you know what? Maybe a little bit of offense. <laughs> Sorry, brother Christ. Yeah, now there's like two intriguing pathways that I want to go. What do I do about this nonsense? And then the other place, like this way is gonna be a bitch. You know, Bo, maybe start clearing that out. Is that? Nah, okay, I'll keep working on this. There's also something that definitely heard me through the rocks. What? Oh, huh? Hello? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> I don't think so, little dude. What the fuck? Hey, Daruk's protection is now ready to fuck you up. See you later. Bye. Dude, what the fucking fuck is this? Also, at what point does this become accessible? Like, I'll take that, by the way. Thanks. Why not? I'll take that as well? I don't fucking know. Like, does it become accessible after the third phenomena? Because I feel like... Maybe I haven't been down here in, like, all that time, but... Okay, you know what? I want to make another hammer. Either way, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, please give a like. If you want to subscribe to Father Major Let's Play, please do so. Also consider supporting me over on Patreon. Links for everything I just mentioned in the description down below. As always, thanks again for watching. Come back next time for another episode of Tears of the Kingdom, where... Where am I, exactly? Like, whereabouts am I? How far away from the castle? Just out of sheer curiosity, you know? Hello? Oh, I'm kind of close. <laughs> I'm not that close, actually. Yikes, still a while till we get there. If that's truly where this is gonna let out, I guess we'll see.